Hi, this is Stephen Colley from Trotec Laser Technical. I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on your Trotec. Today we'll be looking at the rotary attachment for the Speedy Series and SP500 laser. Every rotary has cones. These are used to clamp a cylindrical object together. To do so, you need to loosen the lever here and separate the cones from each other. Place a cylindrical object, in this case a bottle, then push the movable cone towards it. Once it sits properly, tighten the lever. If processing the same item over and over again, you can swap the items quickly as the movable cone is spring-loaded. If you'd like to engrave on a curved surface, like shown here, where the surface isn't flat, you can tilt the rotary to adjust the angle. You also have the option to adjust the height of the cones. You have scales on both cones, so you can align the height perfectly for objects with a wider diameter. There are also attachments to the rotary other than cones. You have the manual ring chuck, the manual three-jaw chuck, the standard three-jaw chuck and the jaw chuck. These are used depending on the cylindrical object. When you order these, they will arrive disassembled like this. To assemble, mount the main chuck onto the adapter plate and attach it with the three screws. To change the attachment fixtures, you'll need two wrench keys. This is how you install it. To open and close the jaws, you'll need to use a designated Trotec tool. If you're using the manual three-jaw chuck, you can close and open the jaw by turning the wheel by hand, or use the small lever that comes with it. To replace the jaws, you'll need to open the chuck fully and remove them. As you can see here, there's a spiral pattern inside the chuck. Each of the jaw slots are marked with a number, and it's important that you start with slot 1 for jaw 1 and work up to 3, in that order. Take the designated Trotec tool and turn the wheel counterclockwise until the outer ring has passed the first slot. Turn it back a bit until the slot is open. Push in the jaw marked with a 1 until it stops. Turn the wheel again and do the same thing for jaw 2 and 3. When all three jaws have been placed onto the chuck, you can use the tool and see that all jaws are moving inwards. If one or more jaws are not moving inwards, you'll need to repeat the process starting at jaw 1. Before installing the roller mechanism, we'll first go over the belt tension. Here you can see the rotary for the Speedy 300 and the Speedy 360. To mount the roller mechanism, first remove the covers. The Speedy 100 and Speedy 300 have this type. The Speedy 360 and up have this type. The only difference is the belt tension mechanic. First we'll need to loosen the belt tension. On the Speedy 100 and 300 we'll need to loosen these two screws. On the Speedy 360 and up, we'll need to remove the belt tensioning screw and then these two screws. To tighten the belt on the 100 and 300, you need to push on the motor holding plate like this and tighten the screws. On the 360 and up, you need to first attach the belt tensioning screw. The distance here should be 13 millimeters. 
When this is done, you need to tighten the two screws. To mount the roller mechanism, we first need to remove the belt and then these two screws here and lift up the cone. When installing the roller mechanism, make sure the guide holes are set properly on the guide pins on the plate below. Attach the screws and install the belt. Tension the belt based on our previous demonstration. Finally install the opposite end of the roller. If you have any questions or you'd like to book a preventative maintenance with our technicians, please contact us in the description below.